Hi guys and welcome to the new Twitch video. Today it's going to be a little bit on how to re-update your MIRC to work with the new Twitch servers. The thing is, is Twitch decided to change their server layout just a little bit. Um, which means that the you have to connect a different way into a different IP address and stuff like that. Now before, if you remember, we went to File, Select Server, uh, we added a server and we typed in the IRC server here. Now we're going to do that all the same, but we're just going to be changing the IRC server. So if you've come from the previous video, um, like this video, like the old video, it'd be great. Um, the old video is not going to be taken down for a while because it has got a lot of views and it's just, I want everyone to come to this video from that video. So basically what we need to do is you need MIRC first, which you can download from the description. You then need to install that. It's very straightforward the installer and everything. Once you've got it up, it will ask you if you it will come up with an options menu. Just close that. Uh, click cancel, and then you can go to file, select server, and we want to add a new server. Now the server name is going to be our our bot's name. Um, so what we should do first of all is create an account for our bot. So for example, I've got a Twitch account called Motion Bot. But I want that motion bot to be in the channel uh, Chrome TV, which is my channel. Um, so I'm going to call this description motion bot because that's the name of my bot I want in the channel. Uh, the IRC server actually now needs to be irc.twitch.tv. Uh, the port stays the same, 6667, which is the standard IRC port. The group can just stay empty, and your password needs to be your password for your bot's account. So I can just do that now. So you put your password in here for your bot's account. Now there's no way anyone can find out about your password. It's just like logging in through Twitch basically. MIRC doesn't keep any of that. So now we've got our bot here showed up in our IRC server list. There are a lot of pre-made ones already here, but we're just going to use this one. So we need to click it. We need to click select. And then it comes up with this menu. Now I want the nickname to be Motion Bot, and I also want the alternative to be Motion Bot. Now the name and the email you leave blank. You can click New Window if you want it to create a new window. I normally do actually. Um, and then we click Connect, and it should connect to our bot. Now it'll come up with this screen. Now mine's already connected um, to two of these because I have these as defaults already made. Um, but for example, if I didn't want that menu open, and I well, you can for starts just put hashtag your channel name which you want it to connect to um, in there. It's already connected to your username and everything, so it'll be fine. Um, or you can just type into this log here slash join hashtag your channel's name which you want it to be in. So I'm gonna put Cron TV. You can put another channel in as well. So we'll put um, Crafting Motion. I don't know if there's actually a channel for that. Yep. And here it is. So we're now in the Cron, t the Cron TV chat. Uh, we can now go to the Cr uh, Cron TV's Twitch. Let's see, we've got it laid out with the point system commands and everything. Um, and in here we can type hi, for example. And it'll show up in here. So with alternative, we can type hi there. It'll say that motion bot's written it. And it'll show up in here. Now we can op motion bot. Now there is a little bit of latency I've noticed late, lately in MIRC, um, which means that the mods don't show up and the viewer list takes a little bit just to register itself. But it shouldn't take too long. Um, so that's all for this video, guys. It's been a quick video on how to update basically your server. So you can connect to the Twitch servers a little bit better. And so people aren't having problems anymore. So remember to like the video if this helped. Um, comment if you've got any problems or even private message me. I'll reply to every single comment unless it's completely stupid and idiotic, but you know, no one's really done that yet, <laughs> so we yet to get to that part. So subscribe because there will be a lot more videos on Twitch, on the Twitch bot series very, very soon. And if you haven't watched the rest of them, feel free to go back and watch the rest. See you next time, guys.